Domestic violence abusers would have a harder time buying a gun under a new partisan legislation introduced today by Congresswoman Kathleen Rice. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from Baldwin, Long Island. Survivors of domestic violence carry a lifelong burden. I'm missing everything about my daughter. She was my angel. Killed at the hands of her violent husband as their two children looked on. You need something to protect your family. Abusers should not have access to weapons whatsoever. Congresswoman Kathleen Rice now introducing the bipartisan Domestic Violence Reporting Act. Victims of domestic violence are five times more likely to be killed if their partner owns a gun. Many states, New York is the exception, are not keeping accurate records. Convictions and restraining orders don't appear in routine background checks allowing gun purchases when they should be denied, crossing state lines to commit crimes. These are individuals who are convicted of domestic violence offenses, who have a history of abuse, and who should not have guns in their hands. The legislation creates incentives for states to provide complete domestic violence records to federal background check databases. Such checks might have prevented the abusive father of a child from showing off a gun during a court-appointed visit with his five-year-old, says Sister Amy of Bethany House. And when he came back, he told his mommy that he had a really nice time with daddy and daddy let him play with his gun. Each year, more than 600 women in America are shot and killed by an intimate partner. It's something that we need. It's all common sense. Advocates say this bill will save lives. From Baldwin, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. If this bill passes, federal dollars would be given to states to update their information on domestic violence incidents, orders of protection, and convictions in a national database. 